All right. Our, uh, Kennedy Murethi, I understand, is already there with uh, ANC's Musalia Mudavadi. Let's get uh, that before we come back to studio. ANC party leader who, even we've seen a clip and condolences on losing your mother. And today is that day that you're here. And you being here, having missed other functions and this being a national function, you must have a bit of expectations. What are these expectations that you have as a national leader and what is it that you would really want the president to address? No, I cannot uh, preempt his speech, but what is significant, this is the final Jamhuri Day he's addressing uh, constitutionally because his term will be ending uh, in August next year. So... Um, I think he'll give us, uh, maybe he'll give us an account of his journey uh, during the last eight years uh, and uh, his hopes and prayers for the future. I think that is what he's likely to, to be dwelling on. Well, you're angling also to be president of this country and this being a national function, if you are the next person who's going to be sitting there being waited on by most of these Kenyans, what is it that you would want to address as president? I think, I think uh, I'll, I'll go back to my pet subject. I think what uh, Kenyans would like to see is uh, 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 a robust economy, uh, an economy that works for all, an economy that is generating both wealth and jobs uh, for the people of Kenya, and an economy that... Um, is not being held back by corruption. I think this is what Kenyans would like to see. Well, in the state of the nation, that is one thing that the president is actually being accused as not having touched on the issue of corruption. If he wants to touch on it today, and you being one of those proponents of an economic shift, what is it that you'd really want to hear in terms of stronger statements coming from the president, noting that this is his last function? That would be purely speculative. On that one, I say, let us hear his speech. Yeah, but I know you are also angling to be president, and there are issues that you really want to see addressed in corruption. Said it. I've already said that we want a stable economy, an economy that works for all, an economy that generates wealth uh, and jobs for the people of Kenya, and, a, and an economy uh, that uh, uh, is not being held back by corrupt activities. So by extension, we want institutions to work, we want our public officers to work. We want all Kenyans to be patriotic so that uh, we can have a Kenya that we can all be proud of. Well, we are heading into an electioneering period, and this is very important. And even the messaging that comes from you politicians, more so those who have declared interest in the presidency, is very important. What is it that this message you really want to go out to Kenyans? We want, it's important to, in order to continue uh, anchoring the stability of this country, we must always have free and fair elections. Uh, the will of the people of Kenya must never ever be subverted. Uh, and therefore, I can only encourage that all those uh, institutions that have a role to play in ensuring free and fair elections must do so. Secondly, uh, even we as citizens must also play our part and uh, ensure that we are going through a peaceful, uh, campaign process, peaceful democratic process, uh, so that not a single blood, do, uh, drop of blood of any Kenyan is shed at any one time. Thank well, you. Uh, uh, an invitation, uh, an invitation. Kenyans are happy Jamhuri Day. Well, also, you, an invitation was extended to you to be uh, part uh, of Azimio La Umoja. Let us look at what comes today. But also an extension has been made probably to create a bigger coalition. I don't know whether that invitation has been We are now going into speculation. All right? We've already talked about our desire to create the One Kenya Alliance, isn't it? That's the only one that I know. Is, is One Kenya Alliance looking to create more alliances with other people? We are going to talk to other people. And you saw us talking to the Mount Kenya Unity Forum not to, about three weeks ago. So we continue to talk to other Kenyans. Yeah, but some members of the One Kenya Alliance have also indicated probably uh, of forming a bigger alliance with Raila. Are you why probably you one ask, of... Why don't you ask each of us individually? That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> Mine, I've, I've told you. <laughs> well, those are some of the sentiments that are coming from ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi.